in animals like mice, drosophila and humans, the plasma membrane of an epithelial or non-epithelial cell contains the co-receptor LRP and the receptor frizzled. The receptor frizzled is a 7-pass transmembrane protein. It resembles GPCRS in structure. In the absence of a WNT signal, the cytosolic beta catenin becomes bound by a degradation complex containing the scaffold protein APC or adenomatous polyposis coli, the scaffold protein exin, GSK3 or glycogen synthase kinase 3 and CK1 or casein kinase 1. The APC and exin hold the protein complex. In this complex, beta catenin is phosphorylated by CK1 and then by GSK3. This phosphorylation triggers the ubiquitylation and rapid degradation of beta catenin in the proteasomes. In the nucleus, the complex of co-repressor protein Groucho and gene regulatory protein LEF1 or TCF bound to the WNT responsive genes. This complex inhibit or repress the transcription of WNT responsive genes. As a result, the WNT responsive genes are kept inactive or silent. At the same time, the inactive scaffold protein disabled remain in the cytoplasm. The secreted protein WNT called as armadillo in flies can activate at least three types of intracellular signaling pathways. They are the planar polarity pathway, the WNT calcium ion pathway, the WNT beta catenin pathway. This pathway is also called as canonical WNT signaling pathway. In the WNT beta catenin pathway, the WNT binds to the frizzled and LRP. This binding clusters the two types of receptor together and get activated. The activated frizzled recruits the disabled. This disabled is required for relaying the signal down all three signaling pathways. As a result, the GSK3 phosphorylate the cytosolic tail of LRP. Then the CK1 gamma phosphorylates the cytosolic tail of LRP. Due to these phosphorylations, exin binds to the phosphorylated LRP and is inactivated and or degraded. The loss of exin from the degradation complex inactivates the complex. This inactivation blocks the beta catenin phosphorylation and ubiquitylation. As a result, the unphosphorylated beta catenin is accumulated in the cytosol and translocated located into the nucleus via nuclear pore. Then in the nucleus, the beta catenin binds to the LDF1 or TCF and displaces the Groucho. Now the beta catenin functions as a co-activator which induces the transcription of WNT target genes. The beta catenin activates the gene CMYC. This gene encodes CMYC protein. This protein is a powerful stimulator of cell growth and proliferation. Now functions of WNT. It helps in the cell-cell adhesion and gene regulation. They act as local mediators and morphogens to control many aspects of development in all animals that have been studied. Some important points. There are 19 WNTS in humans. The LRP stands for LDL receptor related protein. CK1 and GSK3 are serine threonine kinases. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon to see more videos on my channel.